this is Stampy, and welcome to a let's play of a game called Gravity Bone. This is a game which I reckon you wouldn't have heard of, uh, but that doesn't matter. You don't need to know anything about this game. Uh, let's just experience it together. And um, we seem to be at some sort of fancy party. Oh, we got an invitation. Uh, the Sat the Saturday Club Business Invitative Wet Work. Go to the furnace room. Okay, got to go to the furnace room. This is a game that was made by a company called Blendo Games. And it's a bit weird, as you might see. Everyone kind of looks a bit like Minecraft with their blocky heads and stuff. But, um, yeah, <laughs> it's quite a cool looking game. Uh, there's actually a game called 30 Flights of Loving, uh, which I really wanted to play and I saw was getting uh, quite a lot of attention recently. And I wanted to do a Let's Play. And I bought it and I found out that its prequel, which is this game, Gravity Bone, uh, comes free with it. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd give it a go and play through them both together. And the game is kind of about the idea of just exploring and looking around an environment without ever having to really do anything. It's kind of like a, a first person viewer. <laughs> like you're never going to get shot at or anything. It's basically just having fun looking around the environment and uh, telling a story. And look at this guy. His hair matches his suit. Um, I need to get to the furnace room then. Do you reckon I'm going to get through the um, through that staff door if I wait for one of those people that were selling drinks? And whoa, I nearly fell off then. And I kind of like walked right up on the railing. It's a bit of a goofy looking game, but I don't care. Here we go, here we go. I got through, I got through. Right, to the furnace room, this way. Can I open the door in any way? Push into it. Do I have to wait for another member of staff? Oh no, press E. Sorted. The furnace room. Uh, space bar to jump. Up we go. Uh, apparently this isn't a very long game, by the way. Apparently uh, it will only take me about 20 minutes to complete or something. So I might do the entire game in one video. What's this? Deliver this drink to the man with the red hair. Well, I know where he is. Do I need to, do I need to put a costume on, do I? Right, let me grab my drink. I don't know who I am. Am I like an agent or something then? Am I some sort of James Bond character? Anyway, I'm in costume. I'm dressed like one of these guys, I reckon. Is there a mirror? <laughs> and I need to deliver this uh, drink to the guy with the red hair. Do you reckon it's poison? Oh, look, there's a fly in it. Look at the drink. There's a little fly swimming up and down in it. Uh, why do I have to feed that to the ginger man? Right, where is he? Here you go, sir. I have got a drink for you. Would you like it? Enjoy your drink, sir. What's he going to do? Oh, he's gulping it down. Oh, he loved it. <laughs> now I need to find the exit. Do you reckon I've poisoned him then? Reckon that's him. That's him gonna die now. I don't know. Maybe it was just a really nice drink. Maybe it was an extra nice drink. <laughs> I'm kind of just liking the fact that this is just a completely random game. Came out of nowhere, and I have no idea what's gonna happen or really what it's about. I did a bit of research, but I kind of purposely didn't find too much out about the game because it wouldn't be as fun. And there we go. I've done it. I'm in the exit zone. Is that level complete? Oh, contract complete. I guess I am some sort of agent or something. Yeah, I did. Yay. Look at all stuff. So I, I, I put the, the pug in the drink and he drank the drink and... It releases gases and we can track them and... I don't know. <laughs> it was a really weird, quiet, muffled voice. Oh well, we completed the contract. Let's go do the next contract, I guess. Oh, is this in the, the agency, do you reckon, then? Is this where I work? You are right, mate? Another day at the office? Hi. Hi. <laughs> weird noises. <laughs> like, really quiet. Passionate moment she's there reading. Oh, I got another telegram here or something. Uh, are all... Hefrot Tower, uh, 70th floor, research, snatch, deep raid, go to the furnace room. Okay, go to another furnace room? What's it with these furnace rooms? Right, let's, let's go through then. Oh, the door's locked. What about this one? I can't go anywhere. Out the window? Oh, it's night time. Is that supposed to be rain? <laughs> I love the kind of goofy graphics. It doesn't need to have good graphics. <laughs> I love the voices as well. Listen. It sounds like the character on like a kid's TV show, like, ow! <laughs> Love it. Right, furnace room. Jolly good. Puzzle solved. I reckon there's got to be something to do with these furnace rooms. Right, go, 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 go. I know what? Citizen Abel was squashed. Um, okay, let's go back to the autosave then, because I haven't bothered saving. 
was like, well, did it just come down right after me then? Right, okay, I guess I've got to be quicker than I was. Go, 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 go. I don't think there's any sort of sprint button. Did I make it? Just about. Just about. Press space bar to jump. Yeah, I know. Oh, God, I've got to go quickly this way now. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's a tool. Oh, I have a hammer. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a limp swing, isn't it? Oh, come on. Surely I, I can break that thingy off. No? Is that not going to happen? Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, scroll mouse wheel to select item. Uh, press that to use item. Yeah, I've only got one item. Scroll hammer. Surely I've got to break that. Do I've got to go closer? Hit it higher? Hit the handle? Come on, should I get a running jump then? Yep. Yep. Why won't that break off? Surely that is what i got to do. Surely I've got to break off that padlock. Is there anything else? Oh, there's another tool here. What's this? Uh, what's that? A pressurized something or other? Do I got to use that? Oh, I got to freeze it and then break it off. There we go. It's an actual proper puzzle. I didn't really think there was puzzles per se in this game. I thought it was mainly just wandering around. I guess there are actual puzzles. I mean, to be fair, it's not a particularly difficult puzzle. I was just being very stupid, but I want to go this way. I don't want to go to the furnace room. I can keep going that way. Okay, well, what's down here then? I want to explore everywhere before I get to the end of the game. Oh, I got another another message here. Photograph the five birds. Really? Is that my top secret mission? Take some picture of some birds. Let's take a, so I take a picture of this thing here. Uh, press four to get that out. Ah, oh, that's a lovely picture. Have I only got 22 pictures I can take? Oh, I'm going to have my hammer out just in case there is any kind of combat that I'm not going to be expecting. That way I'm ready to bash people in the face. i got to hit someone. I need to find someone. The next person I see, I'm going to hit in the face with a hammer, no matter who it is. If it's a little girl, then I'm sorry, I've got to do it anyway because I've said that now. Is this is this the other side of the door you reckon, uh, you reckon I saw earlier? Right, I need to find some birds. Any birds out here? There's some, some things flapping around in the wind. Someone's laundry out there. Where am I? I assume this was my top secret base. Maybe not, though. It's very dark in here as well. Maybe this is a bit better. Any birds? Can you see any birds? Oh, there seems to be some sort of track, some sort of rail going around there. And there we go. Another few locks for me to, to freeze, then break off. Here we go. Here's my first bird. <laughs> Let's take a picture. Say cheese. <laughs> Say tweet. There we go. One, one of five done. Oh my god! It just blew up. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Is there anything hidden in these blueprints? Not really. Right, let's just go find some more birds then. <laughs> What's the point of taking pictures of them all? They're all just gonna blow up. Right. I seem to. I seem to be able to jump onto here. But where to next? Can I jump onto the cart at all? Do you reckon? Is that climbable? Oh, there's some vents there. Where do you reckon I'm supposed to go now, then? Doesn't seem to be anywhere down. Do you reckon I could jump onto that flag? It seems to be kind of glowing a bit, that flag. If I take a picture of it, will that do something? Nope. Um, can I, should I spray the flag? Will I freeze it? Do I have that good range? Can I freeze this thing? Where am I supposed to go now, then? Do you reckon I can make that jump? Do you reckon I could jump to that flag? I'm not sure. I don't, it doesn't seem very land onto a ball. Um, shall, I, shall I save quick? Shall I save very quickly? Can I save? I think there's like a quick save option, but I don't know what it is. Right, okay. I don't want to quit out. Then there's that thing riding around there. Was there something in here that I missed? Was there somewhere else to go? Did I break anything in here? Just smash things with your hammer? <laughs> when in doubt, smash things with your hammer. Actually, I'm just going to make a try and do that jump to that flag, or is it going to annoy me? Oh, I can! I can make that jump! God, this is a bit dangerous. Right, let's make that next jump then. Yeah! And to this one. Oh! Easy! <laughs> Anyone who's watched any of my Minecraft videos will know I'm not a good parkour player. This has got a bit difficult. What happened to me peacefully walking around looking at things? This has got very difficult. Whoa. Oh no, I didn't make it! Oh, Citizen Abel was thrown in the wrong place or something. Right. I know what I have to do. Oh, where did I load? Oh, am I right back at the very beginning? Oh, I, cl I clicked the wrong autosave. Right, I know what to do now so I can get back really quickly though. 
Right, yeah, it's okay. I'm a pro now. I know where I'm supposed to be going. Hop down here. Turn round. Grab the hammer. Grab the little spray, whatever that thing was. And then I'm on my way. Go, 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 go. Right, get the hammer. Get the spray. What was that thing called? Pressurized Freon? Ferron? Something like that? Right, freeze it. Whack it. <laughs> and onwards. Ah, uh, that's a well difficult jump to make. I need to learn how to properly auto save just so like before every drum, uh, jump I can auto save so I don't have to go back too far. <laughs> okay, I, I needed to read this thing, tell me to take pictures of some birds. Oh, where's the um the camera? Oh, there it is. Right, okay, I don't want to walk around with the camera out. And I'm back, I'm back, I'm back to where I was pretty much. I just need to try and not die this time. I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, oh, did I go this way before? I don't think I looked in these rooms. I think there might be some mystery rooms here. I'm kind of glad I died now because I can explore these places. Maybe there's birds in all of these and I just went past them all. Oh, there was. <laughs> Lucky I died. Otherwise, when I got to the end of wherever I was, then I would have been completely lost. <laughs> Jolly good thing that I died. Right, was there any other doors? No. Right, let's, let's go get these ones as well, shall we? Break that one, break that one. Why do they need to have two padlocks? Surely one's enough. <laughs> like, I've proven that I've worked out how the padlocks work. And why do they always die? I, I feel kind of mean. Are they like robot birds or something? I think that the storyline in this game, you've got to kind of work it out as you play. Because there's no real dialogue, like... The entire story you've got to work out by just what you see and trying to like explore and weed, uh, weed and read between the lines. So, and um, why, why do you reckon the birds are exploding when I take a picture of them? Maybe they're just really camera shy and they can't bear it. <laughs> and then it drops down. Okay, right, I'm back to the jumping part. Although sadly, I am gonna have to end part one of this video here. I thought this might be a a one video series, but this game seems to be. Uh, kind of bigger than I thought, which uh, is quite good. It's good because I got all of this game to do and then it's sequel 30 uh, Flights of Loving as well, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, so sadly, as I did say, I'm going to end this video here, but there'll be a link uh, in the description to part number two of my Let's Play of Gravity Bone if you want to go and check it out. But thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye!